Tough class schedule, tough football schedule. Our Stanford schedule analysis next on Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We have reached the final four of our schedule rankings here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. We have ranked the Power Five schedules, all the major conferences, plus the major independents from 70 all the way up to number one. Of course, you can help us build the channel by selecting the link in the description section below. Do your Amazon shopping using that link. It's the same exact experience. It just helps us build the channel. Also, our two exclusive live streams, Mark Rogers TV's uh, Voice of College Football Community. Grab the link below. It says Voice of College Football Community. Two exclusive live streams, one with me where you jump on and talk college football directly with me, and the other one, my reaction to your viewer comments, totaling over 45,000 to date this year in 2019. So thank you. All right, Stanford football. Back in 2015, when Stanford marched on to a Rose Bowl win after a Pac-12 championship and clobbered Iowa, they opened that season with a 16-6 loss at Northwestern. Christian McCaffrey finished second in the Heisman voting, should have won the Heisman, actually. And uh, again, Stanford lost to Northwestern by 10 points in a very lazy kind of game, Ryan Field opening week, and it cost Stanford a shot at the college football playoff in 2015. Well, they finally get their chance at a payback at home in Palo Alto, August 31st against Northwestern. All right, Stanford's second game, they dive into Pac-12 play at USC on September 7th. Then they come back for another difficult non-conference affair at UCF on September 14th. So these are two of my favorite non-conference games and two of the non-conference games that won't grab the national media attention hype like Auburn, Oregon, Michigan, Notre Dame, Notre Dame, Georgia, LSU, Texas, those type of uh, contests. But Northwestern at Stanford on week one, and then two weeks later as the Cardinal travel to UCF to take on uh, the night, September 14th, two really good games. And then on September 21st, back to 12 Pac-12 play for Stanford as they host Oregon. So you talk about a killer four-game stretch to start the season. Northwestern, USC, UCF, and Oregon. And then a bit of a reprieve, meaning maybe the worst team in the Power Five. Worst defensively last year, certainly at Oregon State September 28th, and then back at it against Washington on October 5th. So the Pac-12 North Division will be largely decided by the first week of October when Stanford takes on Oregon at the end of September and then Washington two weeks later on October 5th. Then they've got the open date, then UCLA, Arizona, and then another bye week before a trip to Colorado, the key game against Washington State late in the season, November 16th. The Cardinal have struggled against the Cougars in recent years. Then they've got Cal, and that's the end of the Pac-12 season. And so as we'll know what uh, Stanford has accomplished at that point, there will be other teams in the Pac-12 playing at that point. Everyone else in the Pac-12 will be in play. And why is that meaningful? Well, Stanford will play what could be an enormous game against uh, Notre Dame, depending on college football playoff uh, seeding at that point. And if those two teams are either undefeated or have just one loss, But on the other hand, it may just be a really good top 25 type game against Notre Dame. And Stanford may be waiting for other teams to win or lose to decide their fate in winning the Pac-12 North and getting to the Pac-12 championship game the last weekend of the season. Again, Stanford taking on Notre Dame at home to conclude 2019. So it starts out with a brutal four-game stretch against Northwestern, USC, UCF, and Oregon. You've got the difficult games of Spaced out from there, Washington, October 5th, Washington State on the 16th of November, and then Notre Dame after a tough Cal team travels to Palo Alto on November 23rd. This is the second most difficult schedule in the Pac-12. It's number four in all of college football. Stanford misses Arizona State and Utah, so they miss a decent team in the Sun Devils and uh, the team that made the Pac-12 championship game out of the South last year in the Utah Utes. So Stanford, again, number two in the Pac-12, number four in all of college football. And where is my 
projection from the spring. Way back in April, I selected Stanford to go 9-3. and three. Nine and three overall, seven and two against a brutal non-conference schedule that includes Notre Dame, UCF, and Northwestern. Just guess who I uh, chose Stanford to lose to? Seven and two in the Pac-12, nine and three overall. That's the projection right now. We will have our final predictions in a few weeks and be back with schedule number three.